Hi everyone. Oh, that was going. I think he spoke too soon. Oh, hi everyone. Hi everyone. We are back because we saw Frankie, Frankie and Johnny and the Claire de Lune. Yay! This Ultra Friday. McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ultra McDonald. That's it. That's, That's the video. We can end it. <laughs> Out. <laughs> no, but really. Oh my goodness. This is so special. This show is so special. Mm, it's a revival, I believe, of this play. Yeah, I think it's a revival. Never heard of it before. I didn't know what it was about. I said Audrey's in it. I said I'm going. Yeah. like <laughs> That we, was basically we're Audrey's Audrey. coming back. Oh, we're going to make it this time. Okay, first of all, we have been watching Audrey McDonald since we were, what, night, what, six? Yeah. Six and, years old. And Annie. And the Disney Annie. Mm -hmm. She was our Grace. She was our Grace Sparrow. I mean, no disrespect to... Anne Ranking. To Anne Ranking, who we love. Mm -hmm. But, like... Audra was our Grace. Like, she was who introduced us to mm -hmm. to Grace. And Vic LaGarba, like, we still call him Daddy Warbucks to this day. day. Yeah. So, um, we have been fans of Audra for such a long time. About all our lives, basically. We're 26. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For 20 years. And I don't want to make Audra feel old, so that's why I didn't mention that to her when we saw her back. And because I was like... Then she can't... Then she can't... Like, and like... She like looked us in the like looked us into into my eyes, Joy. When I was like, I really enjoyed the show. Like, and then she was like, "Thank you so much for coming." Like looking me in my yes. eyes. Now the funny thing is, we had planned to see this show, um, but it wasn't until we went to see Tootsie and we were talking to these girls we met at the stage door, mm -hmm. who were telling us that this show was like woo, <laughs> and it was like go. And I was like, well, I have time in the morning. I'll try to rush some tickets, <laughs> so I went. And Thanks, Joy. Rush some tickets on Friday, and I got us tickets, and I got my mom a ticket too, mm -hmm. and we dragged our mom to it. <laughs> yeah, in the in the words of I believe was it Norm Lewis? Yes, he said this when they were doing Porgy and mm -hmm. Bessie. Was like, you know, you 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 got to get on her train, or you might miss it. Like and basically, we missed every train. Because he's of saying her. this as like an acting partner yeah. with her, but like we missed every train. train of Audrey's on Broadway. Every single one. Every, I mean, Carousel. Granted, we were young, and um, what else? One ten in the one ten in the shade. I really like. I, I like, like the music to one ten yeah, in the shade. I feel like someone could have took us to a raisin in the sun. But I feel they like did. it. They filmed that one. Yes, they filmed it. They did it on we TV. Watched, yeah. Oh. And then I think it came to the theater. I think as well. I, I thought believe. it was on Broadway. Then they filmed it. Maybe. But Not sure the order in which. Anyway, we didn't see it live, so. And um, we we missed Porgy and Bess, which I was I'm, I feel like that's one of the shows. I have a couple of shows that are like the ones that got away. The first one being Moving Out. The second one probably being Porgy and Bess. And then. Yeah. I think those might be like the only two that like make me go ah. When I think about it. Yeah. But anyway, so Frank and Johnny and the Claire de Lune, it's just two people on stage the whole time, just a hot. No, so, okay, now I'll give you a synopsis. So basically, it's about Frankie. She's a waitress at this diner, and about Johnny, who's the cook at the same diner, and they decide to go on a date together for the first time, and she invites Johnny back to her place, and. They're both. That's the play. They're both. They deserve each other. <laughs> very broken, very interesting people. Johnny's like weird. He's not. He's he's straightforward. Who's Johnny do? Johnny's Michael Shannon. <laughs> like, oh my goodness! Like this guy is. He's always playing like these oddball characters anyway. So to see him playing one on stage, it's just like wow. He really transforms himself into these people who are not typical you know <laughs> and it's just kind of like i was scared for frankie i was scared for audra you know by, the, like, the, end, by the end of the first act i was the, like the, oh my god is she gonna get murdered i don't know what this play is about yeah we i don't know. know if he's gonna murder her it's a revival something. really yeah it's, it's, and you know. i never heard, you know i don't do plays like that we do plays but not like ooh, yeah. i don't study them or anything yeah, like yeah. that so I was just like, I didn't know where the show was going. They're two broken people, and they're older, and they're just... The, the, fir the first act is basically Frankie and Audra telling, um, 
telling Johnny to leave, to get out. Like, the first act is basically him go, like, her, like, going, go, please leave, like, please leave. I felt like that's all she spent the whole first act doing. Because it started off, they had a good time, and he just, his true self, like, comes (laughs) out, and she can't handle, like, being around, like, a guy, and he's, like, he, he's, like, he, he's He's very intense. He's very intense, and he really wants. So is she, though, but in a different way. He really wants to connect with her, and she cannot connect as a person to anyone and you know at this time and he's just like he's like I'm gonna make it happen and it's just like oh my god so the second act is them just realizing that they're both you know mm-hmm. you know need someone they need something in their life and they're just trying to come to terms with being with yeah you know each other and so if the first act was her going please get out what was the second act the second act was her I don't know it was, like why are you like this? Yeah, <laughs> I her just kind of like, w- like, what am I supposed to do with you now? You know, like, because she lets him stay, and it's just kind of like, well, what now? And I really, I, I think you can tell this is a very old. Well, the show is set in the eighties. Yeah, it's very, it's very old. You can tell. Like, the things they say, you know, the people they reference, and mm-hmm. I could tell that it wasn't written for a woman of color. Like, Oops. this is one line where she's, like, she used to look into the mirror when she was younger and wish she uh, was um, Audrey Hepburn, and I was like, no black lady would say that, but, um, <laughs> you know, it's whatever. I would have picked someone else. I would have said Diane Carroll or something, but, mm. you know, I would have mm. changed the script. But you know what, Terrence? You lean a horn. <laughs> yeah, you do, you, Terrence. You know, like it's whatever. It's just it's like a master class watching these two on stage. I'm not an actor. I, like, but I was like, wow, they really. Yeah. So uh, you want to talk thing, about the set? Or what were you going into? Sorry, I don't want to put your thought. But first things first. This show is not for children. Oh yeah, don't bring your don't bring anyone under fourteen. 14? I wouldn't even bring fourteen. What about 12? You want to bring your 12 around? I mean, there's nudity. Oh, yeah, some... some this full frontal nudity in the show. And not quick, either. Like it, <laughs> And it starts <laughs> off with Frankie and Johnny. It's, not to give it... But it's a, a love-making scene. See, yeah, and it goes on for a nice minute. More than a minute. Like, there are things that... I would never thought my first time See, seeing like, Audrey McDonald, she would be... Nude. nude. Like, I was like, okay. The, those girls at Titsy were telling us, you know, that's how it opens, basically. I completely forgot about that. And it was just, and like, then, what, two days later that I saw it, and I completely forgot about it. I thought maybe she flat, like, maybe she flashed, like, once, you know, like, mm-hmm. true play stuff, but, like, I was like, oh, shit. So, yeah, so there's a lot of, there's a decent amount of nudity in the beginning of the show, and there's a, the conversations are very adult, a very adult theme, so I wouldn't bring anyone. Okay, up. you're right. I mean, I was thinking about it. I mean, it's funny, mm. but I'm not, sh- and I'm not sure if someone under fourteen would really care to sit through. Yeah, it. they wouldn't like get it. Like these like, are two very like they have nothing to con- like you know connect like, with. You're right. Yeah, you're right. So I wouldn't bring anyone under fourteen, and even then, at fourteen, they'd probably be like, <sighs> you know, like, <laughs> and they know what's to sit next to their parents during. That. Yeah, I just. A lot of like sexual like yeah. This is very. It's a very tense show. Like I could see it being very kind of uncomfortable for someone underneath fourteen. Mm-hmm. But at the most, I would say sixteen. If you had to bring a younger person, sixteen. Um, so, so we didn't know it was a play. So we knew like there weren't gonna be any singing from like Audra. But I was like, I knew, Audra's on. They're not gonna let her not do anything. She gives <laughs> us a hum. She hums. We, she hums, and like honestly, that was, that's enough to last me until she's back on Broadway in a musical, yeah. like which we hopefully is soon. Hopefully, somebody has something for to for order to do because yeah, I just she needs an all new musical. Oh, a whole new. She needs a completely new musical mm-hmm. for Audra. Mm-hmm. I was saying. Like, just, like, watching the show, like, Frankie and Johnny is actually, like, a play that I would read. Like, I would actually read that There's very something novelistic about it. Right. Definitely. Like, the dialogue is there. Like, they're cooking on stage. And, mm-hmm. 
this is very real and it's just two of them so like they really need to ca- they count on each other mm-hmm. to get through this whole show like that's it's a, just, that was I, I don't think I've ever seen a play and with they just don't two need people. to stage at all like you know how some plays people come in and out they are there the whole time until mm-hmm. intermission and they come out together and they leave especially together. Johnny he doesn't go anywhere at least sometimes she disappears to the, the bathroom yeah see it was so intense I really enjoyed it so the set was um it's the set takes place in her studio apartment, so it's just like everything have, you see. Everything you see. Everything you have the fire escape on the side. You have her small kitchen. You know her bed, which is the couch, and like a little island for the kitchen, and that's the set. And mm-hmm. like a door that's supposed to be her bathroom. Two doors. Two doors. One's the front door, and one's for her, her bathroom. And that's the set. I liked it. It looked like a New York City apartment to me. In the West 50s. Yeah, in the West that's 50s. What says, yeah. That's what, wait, because I actually her read one, the, It says one room apartment in the West 50s. Yeah, let me, let me, I want to read it, I want to read it. Hang it on. looks like that, and I really feel, and it felt lived in, and it felt like... It says time, the 1980s, setting Frankie's one room apartment in the walk-up tenement in the West 50s. Yeah, it looked like, it, I felt that way, and, um... The set was nice, and it didn't move, nothing moved on and off the stage at all until, like, the end... Like ba- really, the end. Like when it shows over the the backdrop. Um, yeah, pulls this one you thought like, oh, it's nothing's yeah, gonna happen. Like they the backdrop, they spiced it up for yeah, us. The at backdrop the end. pulls away from them as you you know we're focusing on. It's just them now. Yeah, like if that not, show was such a up woo. and down, up and down. There was some funny parts. It was, was a very. It was actually very funny despite very, how serious it was. Plays are so. Plays, I love a good play. Yeah, I do. I do. Like when they make you like. I thought we see a lot. What the first, the only play we saw this year was what Quiet Boy. Yeah, and but that had, had some music, music in, it. in it. Um, but yeah, uh, basically, mm, it had some funny parts. It had very serious parts. It had parts that, you know, that that uh, that took you by surprise. It it was. This is a show I would like to see when they throw in an understudy. Mm. Cause then I feel like you get a very different performance, you know, like Please, yeah. You know, Audra and Michael, you know how they do that show. But if you if Audra was out and her understudy had to go on, or if Michael's out and his understudy had to go on, or if they were both were out and both their understudies were on, you'd be like, oh, it's a completely mm-hmm. different show. And it's just Michael Shannon. It's just he's a great actor and mm-hmm. he's a, such a lovely guy at the stage door. He actually came out and he talked to people and he took pictures. And he was very kind, and and he he's very like you can tell like for you for him to play the type of people that he played like he has to be like an interesting guy himself, and I really felt like he's like kind of like a you know not typical Hollywood guy at all, and I'm just kind of mm-hmm. remembering like all the stuff that he did, and I'm just like wow, I'm really glad I got to see him. Mm-hmm. Didn't think I'd ever see him on Broadway. Like right. I didn't, never thought about he it. He does plays. Yeah, but I never thought. Like, yeah, like I never we, thought about yeah, it. Cause like, we don't see plays really. We're, yeah, we're school theater girls. Want to talk about our seats? Oh, also the radio. Yeah, I, love I like the radio. The radio. I we love, love radio I, shows. I love radio and shows. Like you really, I just love. People. I'm, I'm thinking of what what show is that with the Hey there? You talking to me? You with the stars? Hey there. Uh-huh. The pajama game. The pajama game. Right? Like we yeah. love that radio bit. There's a radio in Clyborn Park. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was fun and um it just I like the way Oh, there's one in um what's the show about the veterans? Bandstand? Mm-hmm. Right? Is yeah. it Bandstand? No 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 no. It might have been. But no 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 no. The George Takei one. You like the radio yeah. song in that one? Uh, yeah, what's, what's that show? show? Allegiance. Allegiance. Yeah. Um, Allegiance. Which we saw at a thousand minutes. We didn't see it on Broadway. Yeah, yeah. But also, uh, yeah, the radio. Also, the song that they played, the piano song. It's the Clare de Luz. Yeah, the Clare de Luz. Oh, and then it was, um, the, the, it was a, 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 like a, was it a box, was it a box song? Yeah. Or was it a Mozart song? He, I, know, I can't bop. remember, it was it's a box song. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I heard of him. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, that was so nice music, you know, playing at the, at the, like, when they played the music, it was pretty nice so kind of listening to like also it was such a good show because again we knew nothing about it and yet we were like you know you want to find out like what's like Like, what happens between them like you're like invested right away even mom Mm -hmm. 
feel like mom was really. My mom too. did not want to see it. I she was anyway. clutching her pearls. She goes, "If you guys didn't tell me about the show, I'm over here clutching my pearls." So, I dragged her anyway. <laughs> oh, we sat in orchestra. It says orchestra row L. We were right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, orchestra right. Full view. Full view. There's really not a bad seat, is because it's like there's, it's really not much, much many places they can go. No, like they mostly boom. stay center, so you should be able to see. And as we said in our last video, the board mm-hmm. is tight, so okay. that's what you want. I mean, if you're a tall person, probably get an aisle seat, seat for sure. Because there's no like my knees. I'm not very tall. I'm like five six or so, but like, like that, like this. <laughs> yeah. I would also um. If you do rush a chick, rush a ticket, the rush is very easy. Like I got there too early. Mm. I got there around like eight forty five and I was the only one there until like nine forty and one person got behind me. And there's literally no one there for the rush. And like, then what was happening in the Constitution? And there was a rush for what the constitution means to me. There was a line there, there was a line at the killer mockingbird and I'm the only one it's like Frankie the play block, jo- isn't it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm the only one at Frankie and Johnny, and I'm just like, well. But I'm glad I got a ticket, and I'm glad the rush is easy. I hope people go see this show. It's Are you nice fixing to- your eyebrows in the I am. <laughs> I hope people go see the show. I hope people. And I know people don't like to see Audra not singing. Like, I know that that's her big draw, like her voice. But all just she can also act. She's an she's, she's an actor. She won. She's nominated for so many Emmys. You know, like she I love she can her. hold her own as an actress. And you know, I just can't wait to see her in a musical now. But um, I love her. Go see all just go see my. Oh, we didn't show our stuff. We did get stuff. Oh, we got stuff. we got gear. Yeah, watch her get. She shows you that. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this and we got signatures. We got their two signatures. John Hancock. We got some two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they both came out. Uh, the stage show was nice, but yeah. Boom. Bring it down. So, oh, sorry. Yeah. I couldn't see. Yeah. Frankie and Charlie. It looks like the playbill. There's yeah. a playbill. Yeah. It looks like the... Lit. I didn't know plays had stuff. The the play that goes wrong has stuff. We got stuff from Choir Boy. All right. I want to play that goes wrong shirt. I want to go back to see that show. But um, Frankie and Charlie shirt. And then also... Let's do that... Sorry, they had a hat too. I think. They got a hat. They mm-hmm. had a hat. Mhm. Yeah, I think I can see. They a hat. didn't have. Oh no, I'm lying. I was about to say they didn't have magnets. Yeah, we got a magnet. I'll show you. The, mer- the merch is very weird because we like to when we we just put it all in the face so people can see it. it says Frankie and Johnny and the moon because they were talking about the moon at one point. Um, and then also the name of the song, Clay the Moon. Mhm. Is that what is that the clear of the night? Clear, clear night. Yeah, clear, clear moon. Yeah, we don't speak clear. Oh uh, no, no. Um, and um, the 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 merchandise is very odd for the show because when we go see shows, we like to. That's the first thing we do is we we go to to merchandise, we get our things, and then we go have a seat, and then we don't move. We're, we're those people still sitting during intermission sometimes. Mm-hmm. I just it depends re- on the theater. Like I got the broader, so you got to get up. Yeah, I just recently started stamping up during intermission. Yeah. And we <laughs> sit with our stuff <laughs> the whole time. And um, so we did that. Mm-hmm. We went We went, and we went, We only got the... Oh, excuse me. The... What's it called? The, the poster, the window card, and the... The magnet at first, and we were trying to get a shirt, and they were like, they're waiting to figure out how much to sell Sounds the shirts for. for. So I don't know if it changes every day, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how, what that's about. So she was like, and they were like, well, you can come back at intermission, and we should have a price for you. I was like, okay. So then, of course, I'm thinking the shirts are gonna be eighty dollars. <laughs> it was not. It's actually a pretty cheap shirt. What was it? Thirty? Yeah, that's what you said. I think so. I think so. So yeah, that's gonna look so nice. Though. It is. Now, I, see, in my mind, I had what I wanted to frame next, but now I'm like, it's it's Audra, mm-hmm. and it has her signature, and it must be protected at all costs. So yeah. I feel like we need to frame that really that soon. And something else. What we got a, a window card recently for something else, right? Um, come from away, Edward. Ain't too proud. 
Was it the A2 Proud Maybe it's the A2 Proud one. Now I kind of wish I got a Tootsie one. That bright red would have been nice. It would have been nice. Damn. Mm. Damn, damn, damn. I know, we might get it. We still might get it. I mean, the flea market's coming up this yeah. summer, september Yeah. So. We have an exciting June lineup. Yes, June, we do. Yes, we do. You want to go about the lineup? All right, so next Saturday, we're going to see Be On More the first. Chill. On the we're first. kicking off Pride Month. We're kicking off Pride Month with Be More Chill. With Be More I Chill. I can't wait to see. I heard mixed things about Be More Chill, but mostly good things, so I'm excited to... I don't know, we were at A2 Proud, and I heard these men talking, and they were just not impressed, and I was Bobby. like, yeah, mix. Anyway, um, so we're going to do that, and then Tony Day, mm-hmm. which is Tony Evening, Tony Evening, we're going to go see Secret Life of the Bees, Secret Life of Bees with, with LaShawn, LaShawn and Saquon, and, Saquon Singla. and so many other great people, which I heard, it was pretty good from some guy in the line at Tootsie, and then um, after that, we're going to go see... Is that it? No, it can't be. No, it's not it. In the green. In the green, yeah. <laughs> In the green at which, Lincoln Center. Which is the Hildegard or, um, um, von okay. yeah, Essen? Yeah. No, I don't um, know what her last name is. You know the, 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 the nun, nun yeah, that did, did all the, the hymns yeah. and Kiri lays on him? Yeah. yeah. And um, we got those with Link Sticks. So I'm, I'm excited to see that. We heard about her like a music class that we took, and we were like, "Oh, it was okay." Well, yeah. Yeah. Link Sticks, uh-huh. and then um, and then uh, oh, and then we're gonna see Kiki Boots and the Fathom Event because mm-hmm. I have not seen that on Broadway. And then um, who knows with us? Yeah. What else we wanna see? I really see Jeremy Jordan is leaving Waitress. I think mm-hmm. on second. the second. I don't know if we're gonna make it to go see him. There's so much we have to see. Oh, tomorrow we're heading to Chicago. Oh, right, yeah, tomorrow we're seeing Chicago for the third time. We're bringing a friend who hasn't seen it before. So, because Desi's there, Desi we Oakley. love a waitress girl. We love a waitress girl. Yes. And then, that's pretty much it. I just, I'm really, I have a little thing about, but Frankie and Johnny was not on the list, even though it was on our list, mm-hmm. definitely. And then be more chill, but we haven't seen it yet. It's coming, so mm-hmm. we'll check that off once we do that. And then I do hope Kiss Me Kane. Yeah, we might miss that. Mm. I do hope to get tickets to see Hades Town sometime early this summer. They're so expensive, and I'm not standing. People are standing in the rush line at like two a.m. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, mm-mm. 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 nah. That works if you are in a hotel, you know, mm-hmm. nearby. I don't live in Manhattan. It's not gonna happen. Don't even live close. So <sighs> crazy, right? So yeah, we'll have we'll keep everyone updated on our Hades Town journey because right now it's the journey. <laughs> I knew we should have done it a lot, time, yeah, a lot earlier, time. but we kind of we should say bye because we're ready. Oh.